Hello. Hi, welcome to the Stock and It Zombies. I'm Amy, also known as Jay Nitma. And I'm Megan, also known as Just Run It. And this is episode 291. Wow. Yeah. It, uh, my sinuses are telling me that yesterday it was summer and today it is winter. <laughs> I had the same thing this morning. I'm like, what is that? <laughs> Like 36 degree swing and now like summer to to snowing or like freezing rain at least. Yeah. (laughs) Uh, My sweater is not arguing too much, right? Right. You can't argue too much when you want to wear, be able to wear the knits, but. (laughs) Right. Yep. Oh my gosh. So we, um, it's whips week. It is. It is. And in untypical Megan fashion, I have quite a bit of them. Um, a couple of administrati things, just to remind folks, this is the last month of the Hohi KAL. Mm-hmm. Um, so if you've got a sweater on the needles of hers, you can also participate in Diane Suburban Stitcher is doing a finish your sweater in a month. Um, <laughs> KAL or a finish sweater month. That's not in a month. Um, and uh We've also got a decoration KAL. So that's uh, not just hanging ornaments, but also home decor, uh, which Mm -hmm. I've been seeing a lot of fun um, additions to out in our Discord threads. Uh, And then uh, very exciting, yesterday the ZKN email went out and our uh, ZKN exclusive DC uh, wool colorway, the pickle colorways are available for pre-order. So um, and she's got all kinds of bases and she keeps finding bases and shawls. And like, I just feel like I get this constant enabling <laughs> email from her. Like, have you seen that new Andrea Mowry shawl? Uh, we have the perfect put up for that. And we're going to be posting it out <laughs> to the pickle pre-order. And I'm like, ah, I want it in everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I um yeah, one of everything is right. And you're knitting a sweater with it and I'm thinking, well, I got the worst of weights. I can't knit a sweater with it. <laughs> it's that Andrea Maori shawl though. Oh, really? Yes, I believe so. I think it's got enough I think it's got enough yardage. Um only just color in this shawl. <laughs> yeah. Um let's see. Andrea Maori, the pick the name is Oh, goodness, I'm having troubles locating it, of course, because you guys that love one, I was going to say the Hohi one with the scallops, probably, there's probably enough yardage for that, too. Okay, no, okay, so she's got, they've got a worsted super mosh merino um, that they're dying up, um, and you could make Andrea's new honey moss. It's got, so it's the, what, the option that they added is 18 ounces. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. 1,040 okay. yards. Yeah. So it's a new option. It's not the normal eight ounce yarn baby. It's like the mega, the mega baby. It's a big baby. Just when you think they don't have enough babies, <laughs> they, come, they had another baby. Um, but yeah, this one is pickle juice. Uh, I'm super in love with it. It's much lighter. Um, And then this one is the festive pickle. Um, This is what it looks like caked up. It's a massive, massive cake. Um, And I just love how it's blended, right? So like when you looked at it in the skein, it kind of looked variegated. This one is more homogenized and speckled, right? Um, And this one looked more variegated, but um, you'll see when we talk about whips, it's just, it's knitting up like magic, Uh, pickly magic. (laughs) Um, so yeah, if you are um, a ZKN member, make sure to get in on that. Um, and she's going to come talk to us and show us all kinds of pretty things on um, on Saturday. So we're super excited uh, to hear from her. Yes, very much so. Mm-hmm. Do we have okay. any more administrati or do you want me to talk about my whips? I think that that is it. I was going to say hi to everybody that was saying hi out there because we didn't last time because there was the whole, yeah, whatever. <laughs> last time wasn't the playback issue, right? Last time I feel like, anyway. Uh, Claire, Laura, Julie, Susan, Cheryl, Barbara, Laura, Shana, Karen, all saying hi. 
Pivot wants to say hi. Hi, Pivot. Oh. Hi, Pivot. She's meowing at me. I don't she know. wonders who you're doing. talking to, probably. <laughs> you're just talking to yourself. I yeah. thought you were talking to me. <laughs> yarn babies. You want to talk to me about yarn babies? Yeah. Oh, Nikki says hello to you. Um, <laughs> but yes, let's talk whips. I'm excited about mine. And it sounds like you're excited to start showing off some of yours. Yeah, for sure. Um, I wanted to have one of my uh, decorations on the needles, but the yarn arrived yesterday. So it's up here. Um, it'll get wound and I hope to cast on tonight. But what yarn, um, what yarn was that? Um, this, it's just um, Harrisville. Um, it's really rustic uh, black mm -hmm. yarn Whoa. because it was cheaper and I felt like it would look better in the finished object than a yeah. sheen or whatever, just a more muted matte looking black yarn. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so- Any spoilers uh, on what you're making? Um, well, it's the RGB, or yeah, Ruth Bader Ginsburg, RBG, um, ornament ball. Okay, yep, yep. I so didn't mention that. Yeah, I should have put two and two together, sorry. No, no, that's okay. Uh, so it's a, an ornament ball, I think three inches, and then you, you uh, crochet a little collar. Right. A dislike collar. Yeah. Yep. So then I also, this is my long languishing uh, whip that I'm hoping to knit on for the finish, your sweaters month. So this is uh, some Cyborg's craft room yeah. that... Um, I was looking for a project for for the longest time mm -hmm. and actually the color is fairly consistent and I don't know if you can pick up but there's a garter here yep or reverse stockinette one of the two and then it goes to stockinette so it looks different but it, it it's yeah, really it's supposed to create that visual line yeah so I really like this um I think it's the out something hour blue hour or I think I remember it yeah the blue hour and this is the fun detail is right up there on the raglan so really pretty like otherwise it's just a plain sweater so mm -hmm. it, it it's got this interest right up at the top very cool I like that I remember one. you casting that on I know it's been a while <laughs> um like I said, long languishing. I think, you know, once I got past the fun bits and I was knitting on the, you know, however long you want your body, 15 inches of stockinette, I got a little discouraged. So that should be a fun one for a movie night or, a, you know, something Zoom oriented. And it's in my mom's bag. I remember when she made these, a space girl that, yeah. Very fun. There's a little cat on there too, dog, cat. Anyway, distractions. Yeah, no, you could reclaim those bags once you finish the objects in them. <laughs> <laughs> right? Um, and then I am most of the way through my heartfelt now. So I think I only have like four, five more inches on the body. Mm -hmm. And, and that's just going back and forth and it's um, quite fast. You know, it really didn't feel fast, but then I put markers in, so I'll show that to you. I put a marker in at five inches and I was like, oh my gosh, it's taking forever. And I was like, I got this done this weekend. Mm -hmm. So the, from the five marker to the top. So that's probably another three and a half inches yeah. more. And I, it wasn't the only thing I worked on this weekend either. I worked on a little ornament and I'm saving that for our FOs <laughs> later. Yeah. Um, but that is the and that one was a recent cast on, right? And, what, and what's the Yeah, ornament? I had cast it on just before the start of the month. Yep. Um, yeah, like days before the month started. So very recent. And what's the yarn, Amy? I'm sorry. Oh, it's Malintosh. Okay. Uh, the discontinued colorway from Eat Sleep Knit. Um, I'm hoping to count it towards their fourth quarter KAL because I'm using a book from my library, um, as in my personal library. Uh, so Interpre Interpretations Volume 3, I think, is what the book that came out of. Okay. 
And then the festive doodle. Ooh. That yellow sure does pop. Yeah, it's a yellowy green, and that's why I was worried about putting it with the red, but I think, you know, it's festive. Mm -hmm. It fits with the name. I'm going to reiterate, I guess, in my sizing, I actually put one too many rows of these dots when I started. I think it'll block out okay. I'm not worried about it, but this is not what's supposed to be there for my size. I was supposed to skip those first four rows or whatever. Hmm. It's a design my, element. Yeah, my mistake as well. But yeah, I got the sleeves off and I'm working on the body. I probably have a few more decisions to make on color exchanges in here, but Ooh. so far so good. Yeah, and that yarn is Jill Maker Dra Makes Stuff? Yep, Jill Draper Makes Stuff, and it's um, the Mahonk Light. Uh, it's one of my favorite bases. I knit um, one of your cowls out of it. Mm -hmm. I love it. It's yeah. cheapy and squishy, and it's some people might think it has a prickle, prickle factor, mm -hmm. um, but it really isn't. It's just, it's not, it's not, um, I don't know. It's just different. It's not uh, as smooth or yep. um, it's got more texture or feeling to it, but I don't think it's prickly. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then last but not least, my um, whip for the Hohi Hey Up. Mm -hmm. I have my Venza. Ooh. And let's see. So I'm over halfway. I think I'm holding up halfway. Um, okay. So that you can see where we're at. There's the other side. I was like, is it knit from the center out on two wedges? But oh, no, maybe, yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah. It was over my shoulder for a second. I was <laughs> like, oh, that's not going to work. Yep. But yeah, not a whole lot left on this. I do think that I'm keeping track of repeats here with my tips and tricks from one time that I have four repeats to go. Mm -hmm. I'm most of the way through the, the fifth one. So that'll be, yep. Great Excited day. to have that done and it'll probably block out really nicely. You know, big, it's got a lot of rib in it so it's gonna stretch yeah i like how that light colorway um that the the speckle is being a little darker it i think the light colorway really shows off that texture um but mm -hmm. the speckles really give it some interest yeah for yeah. sure I, I honestly i think this would look really good in like a really bright color mm -hmm. as well um i think the middle ground is probably where i wouldn't put this shawl like <laughs> and he likes the edges. Yeah. Yeah. It's like ethereal or pow. <laughs> yeah. We we don't like the middle ground of like, you know, just a nice navy blue. I don't think that would work. I think it yeah. needs to be bazinga blue, you know, like the super bright blue. Or like what I'm wearing. Blue. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We're very muted. Um, but yeah. it's fun regardless. And I think that yeah my only problem last night was that as I was watching tv I kept forgetting the decreases mm. like I'm on the decreases I have to keep moving it towards the center and yeah I'd forget and then I have to go back and then I forget and I have to go back yep yep Shana says like one of the uh skeins of pink that I used on my japan sleeves yes like shameless from oh, um yeah. from uh, Mitchell's mm. creation for sure for sure um, I think when I was asking people which color I should use, I had a really bright one in there and it might still end up being one of these because yeah. um, I don't know what I'm going to do with just that one skein. So mm -hmm. I can either put it on my feet or I could try to make something like that where I could, you know, wear it up high and yeah. show it. Off. And the yarn again on that one, Amy, sorry, I keep, I don't remember these things. No, no, that's okay. I mean, people probably do want to know it's, um, uh, sparrow, something sparrow, sweet sparrow. Oh, sweet sparrow. Yeah. Yeah, sweet sparrow yarns wrapped up in books. Mm. So beautiful. That one actually had the little card with it. 
Yeah, no, she was a ZK um, sponsor. Prize dono- yeah, sponsor, <laughs> prize donator, and kindly sent us something to, to try out as well. I probably have a skein similar. I could probably be enabled to do that shawl. So, yeah, I know that um, I had bought like two or three skeins from her um, either just before or just after we got the trial skeins because um, I had wrapped up a books in a, a mohair mm-hmm. and, and then I got the regular one. And one, lo and behold, it before or after she, you know, I had started using some of them, all these wonderful mohair things came out. So, <laughs> yep. It is funny. I remember like when I designed one of my first um, hats for Melly, I had written the pattern to um, have fingering held double. And at the time it was like, not a lot of people were doing that. Right. And now mm-hmm. with all of the marling and the scrappy and whatever, it's, um, it's funny how things trend kind of change and ebb and flow. Um, I don't know if that makes me sound like a seasoned knitter. <laughs> well, I want to say though, shout out for that hat. I really like how it does that because you start, I can't remember, you start out with it held single mm-hmm. and you're knitting the brim mm-hmm. and then you start ho- holding it double for the rest of the hat. Yep. It's yep. a fun design. Yep. Yep. Um, all right. So, uh, just fair warning. I may, uh, I have to say this correctly. I have a possible pickle problem <laughs> with my whips. Um, so I've got like, I finished an ornament, um, but or not finished. I need to finish an ornament. I haven't decided whether or not I'm going to try to find one of those cute little hangers and just have a uh-huh. hanger. Or make, one make, out of paper. make one out of what? A paper clip. <laughs> a paper clip. Oh, just yeah. Bend it. Yeah. Um, there's some really cute ones out there, though, like metal ones okay. and wooden ones. And I'm kind of like eyeballing those where I wouldn't have to be crafty. But you're right. I could make one. Or I could just create like an I-cord um, loop, loop, right? Yeah. Sweater loop. Um, and then this is a pickle that I knit. Um, it's a little darker than the pickle colorways. I just picked a green um, EK out of my stash um, mm. that I had some left over, and I loosely based it off of another pickle pattern, but I made it lumpy and bumpy rather than like with pearls and knits. So it's got little bobbles. Oh, okay. Um, all of, I, yeah, you can see the bumps, right? Just random, random bobbles knit in. And then it's going to get a stocking hat and scarf. Scarf. Hmm. <laughs> I think it's going to be hard to see the face on that guy. Is he going to have a face? I think he might be kind of a la the gnomes where the hat and the scarf completely cover okay. his face. Yeah. It's just going to be a random pickle. It's not going to be personified with eyes, I guess. Okay. Um, otherwise, I could use like white thread to make the eyes, I guess. Yeah, might be yeah. weird. <laughs> Amy's like, does not approve, does not approve. <laughs> googly eyes. I, I would approve googly eyes. Yeah, googly eyes. Um, so yeah, that's fun. I've been kind of trying to protect it because Sullivan finds these small little knitted items and like carries them around like they're dead mice. Well, it's a cat toy. <laughs> that's what it is. <laughs> I'm trying to make sure that my pickle doesn't uh, wander off, a wandering pickle, as it were. Um, and then I also, I have some leftovers um, from my cardigan that I designed with um, Lavender Loons DK here. I don't have a colorway name for it, um, but it's got that beautiful, I'm just everything green, apparently, just pickles and this green colorway. Um, and it's going to this hat that um, is going to accompany the cardigan design will have a similar texture and um, some items I will be looking for. So I just got uh, my, um, the pattern back from the check editor. And so I will be looking for um, test knitters. Um, in addition to, don't tell my mom, I may knit her one for, um, for Christmas, but I have to find the right, the right Jill blue. <laughs> <laughs> so and it looks like Amy's got a visitor. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Um, and then on uh, Sunday, because I didn't have enough things on the needles being, you know, the monogamous knitter that um, I am no longer, <laughs> I cast on a, um, a the Weekender Light with my festive pickle. Um, again, a reminder of this beautiful stain. I just love all those pops of colors. Um, and I'm now in the like brainless uh, knit in the round every once in a while, pearl slash um, slip a stitch for that. Um, doesn't seem like it's popping very much in this lighting, um, but when I look at it, I'm the line of stitches, it makes me so very happy. Um, yeah, that one's good. Uh, but whew, it's this green makes me so happy. And I'm just like happily just knit, 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 knitting in the round on it. Um, I'm super excited about the pullover. Um, and I know I had a lot of, um, we had a lot of folks out in the discord threads going like, well, what would I do with that? <laughs> and, um, I think a weekender light would be a fabulous, she's got lots of, um, options as far as you could buy, buy a yarn baby and then a single stain or um, you know the eight ounce yarn baby and then a four ounce and so you could really complete your yardage there um, and uh, yeah I'm just I'm absolutely loving it it's it's so much fun and the colors are just making me happy all of the pickle colors all of the time um, and I am actually, so you probably see when I held it up, I'm doing an inside outside and doing mm -hmm. the helical, um, helical blending. I think it did well without it. Um, but I find that it's kind of motivating to me to want to get back around to where mm -hmm. I'm doing that color swap. Um, I know some people don't like, uh, don't like, uh, alternating colors, but I enjoy getting back around to it. It, it helps me ma mark progress, kind of like your stitch markers, Amy. Um, it's nice to get back around to where I'm like, okay, and now I'm five stitches before the last place, and I drop this one, and I slip five, and then I start knitting again. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, we had a few um, computer emergencies here <laughs> on my side, yeah. but um, yeah. No, it looks great. I can't wait yeah. to knit with mine. I don't know what I'm going to knit, but I can't wait to knit with mine. Yes. Yeah. No, I can't. I can't wait to see how far I can get so that I can hold it up and show Cecilia on yeah. Saturday. Um, but yeah, that uh, again, that's a pre-order, and um, I think she's shutting that down uh, after we get done with the presentation, like that next week. Um, oh. So if you're interested, go out and get that. And again, that's as ZKN exclusive. Um, so uh, yes, I think it's awesome. And um, if you couldn't tell, right. I know I hide it really well. But. Right. No. Uh, yeah. Just in further encouragement for people to join us out on Discord mm -hmm. and uh, have fun. We we try to make it fun out there. Absolutely. The the decoration swap is ongoing, and I've got some ideas for um, a fun, we're going to probably watch Elf in the month of December together. So that's going to be fun. And then yeah, possibly some other type um, holiday celebration games. So stay tuned there. As well as I can't tell you, I think I'm, I've got five different email chains right now with possible speakers where we're setting dates. Um, so we have so many exciting upcoming speakers. Um, if that's something that would be interesting and fun for you, make sure that you're looking into ZKN because again, it just makes me happy and it's something to look forward to, right? Like um, maybe you're not going to be able to see loved ones or travel for Thanksgiving or, um, you know, for those who celebrate Christmas or Hanukkah. Um, and uh, yeah, I think it's, I think it's fun to have something to look forward to, at least from my perspective. So I know I'm biased. Um, as is often the case with the pickle yarn and the fun speakers and whatever. But um, again, please join us. It's, it's a lot of fun. I just realized that I forgot to shut off my, my heater here. So hopefully you're not hearing that too much um, in the, in the feed. Okay. I think Zoom has been doing a pretty good job. We were just talking about this the other night at the Crafton chat. Um, 
I feel like it's doing a better job of focusing only on the speaker's voice because I feel Good like job. I'm not hearing as much extraneous noise from anybody when they're when they're talking now. Um, they've fine tuned their algorithms. <laughs> <laughs> Right? No, that's good. Because again, it's like, oh, it's background noise. So it's not, you know, intrusive, but it is there. Um, cool. Yeah. I have so many things to finish. That's what I learned today. <laughs> you were kind of like, as you were getting ready, like setting up and stuff. And I was like, oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, we're, we're not going to talk about our whips again for another month. And the goal is to get these things done because I have the hohi and I have the three sweaters and that is the goal. So these are my whips for this month. <laughs> and hopefully they're in the FOs, not, uh, you know, further whips next month. I have a feeling that there's going to be some that aren't going to be. <laughs> it happens. Things jump the queue. Um. <laughs> right. The but, pickle yarn. Might ah, jump the the pickle queue. yarn. Oh, man. I had no plans of casting on the weekend or light until I saw the pickle yarn. And then I was like, okay, well, it's inevitable. <laughs> pickle, pull, pickle pullovers are probable is what I put in the <laughs> email. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Buns with peas. I feel like uh, the guy from Mr. or the gal from Mr. Popper's Penguin. Uh, was it Penny? I think Penny from P mm -hmm. Mr. Popper's Penguin. Yeah. So anyway. All right. Have a good Bye. rest of your week, guys. Bye.